everyone, it's Z Traveler, and I'm going to show you guys how to use the Moto Multiverse on a phone. So I'm on an iPhone 12, so there'll be some basic differences in copy, paste, and your shortcuts, but I will be using Chrome, which is a browser that can be used on any phone. So if you bring up Chrome here, as you can see, that is the only app I have on that page. What you're going to do is you're going to go to motomultiverse.com. So that's like facebook.com. It is the URL. It will always be that. Once you get there, and I'm already logged in, you can see um, the news feed. This is the stream, the dashboard stream. So you'll see all the stuff that's been posted in anything that you're a part of. So I'm a member in Welcome to the Moto Multiverse. I'm, you know, following Z Traveler. Um, you know, pretty much basic stuff like that. If I was in any other groups or spaces, which I have to quit calling them groups as well, you'll see them here. So these are the ones that you're actually a member of. And you can go visit them, and that's like going to a group. So group, space, same thing. I can request membership. You don't have to really fill this in, but hi, I'm a member, and I like this group. Send it. So the administrator, well me, will see it, and anyone else that ends up having that power so anyways, let's go back to our main profile. You're going to click the upper right corner, the little photo there, and you go to My Profile. To upload a profile photo, you go here, and you hit the little icon that looks like a cloud with an arrow. This is your upload button across the entire site for everything, your comments, your posts. This will always bring up, you know, browse, take photo, or photo library. So we'll go to photo library, and we'll pick out something besides that tree. Um, we'll pick out a picture of Bubba here. So we're going to let it upload. My photos are very large, so it takes a little bit of, of a time. The website will compress the photos, so I would not use the site for photo storage. But once it's uploaded, if I don't like the way it chose, I can click the little pencil icon, and it'll bring up the edit. And I can, you know, choose a certain spot. So maybe I just want to do this part right here. And you hit save. So now it just has that much. So while you're on your profile, which again, you get from the upper right corner, just hitting my profile, you can edit account. This will give you general stuff. You can do your address, which I don't really recommend. You can do an about. Change your username, change your email. This is all your settings for your account. You can do your communication if you want to add your phone number or your Skype nickname. And you can add all your URLs. We absolutely support you guys adding URLs to any other sites. We're not going to get mad if you guys link off. You can change, so you got all these things here. Email summaries, this is automatically turned off, but you can get a summary for each day or each week worth of content. So you can choose that by frequency there. And maybe you just want to see Bunko Biker stuff. So you'd, you'd click only include spaces below and type in Bunko Biker. So now I'll only get the comments, the space member joining content if I hit save. And you can choose any amount of these that you want to do, you know, what, what these things are important to you. But I don't want email notifications. So coming back over to notifications up here, one of my favorite things about this site is I can turn off which notifications I want. So I have it turned on that if someone messages me, I'll get an email. To me, that's an important part. I would like to know that happens. Otherwise, on the web, you can choose which ones you see. So if I don't want to see people who like my posts or comments, I can turn that off and on. I can just choose the notifications that I want. And once you've set that, make sure and hit save. And what you can do, once you've got that set, is you can go to your notifications. You know, show all notifications, and it should only have the ones you chose. If these are not read, you can click... Um, Mark all as seen, that will be a button provided here, so that way they'll all be seen. You don't have to click on every one of them, and they are in chronological order, so it won't be what is most important or whatever that Facebook does. Let me tell you how much mine are messed up all of the time. So we've gone through that, we've gone through that. Let's go to menu, dashboard. This is your news feed. So whatever groups you're in, Whoever you're following, which is like friends, so you just go follow them and you'll see their posts. This will show up here. Your posts, their posts, all the posts. So this is all for this, the spaces that I'm in with this account. And you can also do what's on your mind here. OK, 
calendar. We all share this calendar, so you'll see birthdays here and events. You can do different views, you know, by day. You can just click certain um, filters here. So you only see events for your followed spaces or your followed users. So I just see Z's birthday on the 5th. Down here is your view. So you've got your month, week, day, and list. So keep it on month for me. And then you've got the directory. So this is how you can find friends. So member account. This is, again, the sample account that I use to make sure that everything looks good for the member level. So I'll just follow Ken. And now if I go to Ken's profile, I can send message and unfollow. But everything he posts will show up in my dashboard. Again, this is like your news feed. Um, they call it stream with the system. So it's really, really solid. So far, we've had no glitches with the stream loading and the chronological order and all that. So you'll see my spaces here. And those are the ones that are listed. And that little 12 means I haven't checked this one. So here we go. <laughs> Al did a test wiki, which we now have wikis as well. Right here is the wikis. Now you can add indexed documents. So if you've got articles, you've got documents, you've got recipes, you know, you've got ride reports, you can upload them here and they'll always be here. Here's you'll see the polls. We haven't done one yet in this group. And you'll see the about. So you'll see the owner, you know, you'll see all the other visibility stuff here. You can, if you, and if you want to see and make sure that you get notifications, you can see, you can set receive notifications for new content. You can leave the group with this one and you can hide posts on dashboard. So your dashboard is your stream again. If you don't want to see this group in your dashboard, this is how you can turn it off or turn it back on. And then if you set, if it has received notifications for new content set, that means it'll show up here in your notifications when they're ready. So if you want to find other spaces, you hit the little uh, book icon next to search, and this will show the directory of spaces. So let's say I want to go to, um, we'll go to bikes with no blues. I can request membership and, you know, see all those things. And Bunk Biker, I did add some information. So here is the like host information. Here's the article from the website. Just a simple copy and paste. That way it's available all of the time. Let's see. I think that's pretty much it. It's a very basic. Again, dashboard your profile, you know, what you can see. If you want to find friends to follow, you can go to the directory. Members, spaces user profile posts, so this is random people, you know, you can go and like other people's stuff, depending on how you have it set. So I'll just like this one. He just posted three hours ago, apparently I need to go say hi to him. But yeah, you can see, you know, I'm commenting on everyone, I would like people to get to use this. And if there's any other questions, please let me know. I hope this covers everything. This pretty much has very basic options. So let's do a profile post real quick before I end this. Um, hey everyone, I'm really happy today. I wanna go down and hit enter and I wanna hit this little arrow button next to the smiley face and I'm gonna do numbered. So reasons why, it's warm, my bike runs, I have food. That's enough for me. So once I hit return again, it'll start four. You can hit return again, it'll go down. I can choose one word, make it bold. I can choose another word, make it italic. I can choose the whole thing, highlight it, and I can choose the heading. And I can hit like uh, H2. So now it's a little bit bigger, you know. That one is by size, so uh, H1 is bigger than H5, I believe. But you guys can play around with that. We also have insert photo. So you can insert it into the post or you can upload it with the typical attach file button down here. This is where you're going to set your, where it says public. This is where you'll set your notifications here. You can make it private. So only people who follow you will see it. You can make it a topic or you can notify members. And 
let's see, there's also quotes. So if I do that, actually I don't really want the button, but fine. Well, technically this isn't my account, so we'll do by member. So it has a little box there that it sits in. But there's a lot of options here that you guys can play around. You can link, you can add an emoji, you know, a little bare face. Well, apparently not. Oh, I'm on mobile, that's why it's not doing that. That's for desktop, so bring up your emojis. And you can indent, you know, all the fun things. Strike that through, and then you hit submit. And there's my little post. So if I go back to my dashboard, there it looks like. It's not gonna change. Like I said, you can link off, you can do H, uh, we can't do HTML yet, but there you go. If there's any other questions, please let me know. Also, you can search. Search for user space and content. So if I search Bunker Biker, look at that. Every mention of Bunker Biker on the site. It's real searchable, it's indexed, it works well. Even Barbara here posted, well, I posted Bunker Biker Hunter posts, so it's showing up. Or if I wanna, you know, search for a member stuff, I can search my own name. <laughs> we get 75. So you get user spaces and content. So like I said, if there's any other questions, guys, I hope this video helps. I will be uploading it to YouTube and putting it on the site briefly. So thanks for joining. Please share with your friends. I'm inviting all groups over that are, you know, supportive and positive. And I hope you guys have a great day.